So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Mario Vlogs. But before anything else, I would just like to give you all a happy, happy, happy new year. I wish that this um, 2021 brings us more blessings, um, happiness, and brings us hope, smiles, and a better year for everyone. So for today's video, as you can see, I have this little Christmas tree right here, and I'm about to keep it today. But before we actually put up this little Christmas tree, I have thought and told my friends here to write their wishes, their prayers, their New Year's resolutions in a piece of paper, and then we put it inside these little bags to hand. And yeah, I'm not going to read theirs. I mean, my friends wishes and everything but i'm going to share with you what's mine so yeah let's get started but before that let's find where's mine i think this is mine Ta-da! so let's check it out um some of you guys uh when you hear the word resolutions may say each and every year nag resolutions tayo nag new year's resolutions tayo pero hindi naman natusunod and blah blah things like that but for me guys, I think there's nothing wrong with that because somehow most of us are still doing this because for me, it's kind of like a reminder for yourself. I mean, you tend to look back on the last year, what you've failed to do and you know, and then it's like you're putting hope that there's always a room for improvement for yourself. So I think it's, it's kind of like a reminder and a push and and a motivation for you to give chance to yourself to be a better person this year if you know what I mean so yeah okay so meron ako dito ang tatlong papel uh, I think separate ko yung wish ko yung resolutions and then yung nilulook forward ko for myself sa taong ito so let's start I think we have to start with Yung wish ko. Yung wish and my prayer. Write it in general for me, for my family, my relatives, my friends, and maybe for para sa lahat na din. Para in general, in general. So first, I am praying this year to that my family, most especially my family, my family to have a good health this year because alam naman natin yung mga still going on na um, malaking dagok na kinakaharap natin sa 2020 and then we're still having it now so i'm i'm just praying for a continuous good health sa family ko na alam mo yun na hindi tayo maapektuhan and then next is a peaceful mind because we are already experiencing this hard situation and then it actually tends us to think of so many things that would lead us to depression, to stress. So yun lang, uh, feeling ko na sana magkaroon ng peaceful mind yung family ko. And then ako na din. And of course, safety and protection. Kasi we'll never know what could happen and mahirap na. So yun ang, pina yun hini yun ang, so yun ang hinihiling ko. And then abundance, of course. Lahat, mar karamihan sa atin, maraming mga nawalan. So, sana this year, mapalitan nyo ng much, 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 much bigger. And then, lastly, ganun na din. Parang, it's, it's the same. More blessings. More blessings to come sa family ko. Sa family nyo na din. Alright, so next, let's move on to my New Year's resolutions. So, basically, these are the things that um, I would want to put some limitations. The things that I would want myself to improve. Okay, so the first thing that I wrote here is sleeping habit, guilty here, especially nung um, dumating yung, yung lockdown. I honestly have a very, very bad sleeping habit. Kasi naman, during those lockdown times, ano, nasa bahay lang tayo. Tapos, super bored. And then, sometimes I tend to sleep a lot in the morning and then in the evening, the whole night, gising ka. As in, nasira talaga yung um, body clock po when it, when it comes to sleeping, to sleeping time. Uh, so, ang sinulat ko dito, sleeping habit, 10.30pm to be the max. Actually, I have started it already um, after noon Christmas. 
and hopefully magtuloy-tuloy siya. But I'm I'm going to try myself to follow this. And the next one na sinulat ko dito is getting up early. Of course, if you get to sleep early, you will get to wake up early. I normally wake up early. Kahit late ako natutulog, nagigising talaga ako ng umaga. It's just that I don't get up. If you know what I mean. I was I was awake early, but I don't but I'm not getting up until I don't I don't know until I decided to until I'm forced to mga nung bagay. So yeah, the third is <laughs> this year, hopefully, <laughs> makasunayan ko, ang sinad ko dito, the third is to comb or brush my hair. Yes, guys, kasi very seldom ako nagbabrush ng hair ko. If after I finish showering, I'll just get my hair dry and that's it. I don't normally brush my hair maybe once or twice a month promise I don't even have my own brush Pero ano eh binabrush ko naman siya ng kamay ko eh kasi ano nagstop ako ng mag magbrush ng hair ko mm. nagstart ako magkaroon ng massive hair folds as in kaya natakot ako kasi it should every time I brush my hair ang dami talagang nalalagas na hair kaya kaya ako siya tinigil kasi feeling ko kapag nag nagbrush ako ng hair parang nabubunot yung hair ko alam mo yun but anyway uh, this year I, I'll try my best I actually bought a comb myself for myself now so magsusuklay na tayo kalo ka diba <laughs> okay so pang apat na sinulat ko dito is this one I'm very terrible when it comes to this drinking water Okay guys, ako yung taong hindi mainom ng tubig, but I know it's really bad. I'll tell you why I don't drink much of water. Because ako kasi yung taong, if I drink a lot of water, or if I follow the 8 glasses of water a day, mangangayayat ako. Because if I drink a lot of water, I tend to eat less. Kasi, sa tubig pa lang, busog na busog na ako. Kaya especially, kapag kakain ako, ba some of us, uh, before they're eating, they're drinking a glass of water first. I don't know for what reason. But me, I don't. I don't drink water first. Or I don't drink water at all. Para, marami ako makain. Otherwise, sobrang kunti lang ng makakain ko. And then, mga ngayayat ako, promise. Papayat ako, promise. Kasi, Busog na ako sa tubig pa lang busog na ako but ito yung gusto kong um mabago sa akin kasi I think ano lang sanayan lang last 3 months ago I actually put a alarm or reminder for myself here uh, to keep me reminding to drink water kasi nakakalimutan ko talaga sometimes I mean kadalasan sa akin siguro okay na yung one glass of water a day promise talaga and I know it's really bad kaya um, kaya nga, lagay na ako ng, ng reminder para sa sarili ko na para ma-remind ako na mag na ng tubig. Yun nga lang, I will have to deal with um, kahit feeling ko busog ako because of water, I have to eat a lot. Mga ganun, kasi mga ngayaya talaga ako. So, yun lang. Okay, so the fifth one is be motivated. Kasi, um, last year, I feel like medyo hindi tayo ganun ka ka-productive. Uh, be motivated. Also, I would include when it comes to like uploading video here in YouTube and be motivated in doing something that I want. Be motivated to reach my goals. Maganay. Alright. And then, pang anim is to speak up. Ako kasi yung taong, even if I know that I have point to say, hindi ko siya sinasabi kasi I don't know. Um, For some reason, I'm really afraid of na makasakit or maka-upset na ibang tao parang ganun or maybe because i'm afraid also to ano ba yan to be judged mga ganun pero i think yun yung mga bagay na dapat kong bagin, baguhin sa sarili ko kasi okay i don't speak up okay i i know i have a point but hindi ko siya ni speak up so i end up to feel upset for myself kasi nga hindi ko siya nasabi tapos i have so many thoughts coming into my mind what ifs, mga ganon so gusto ko siyang matanggal yung mga what ifs na yun, just fill whatever you say and get answers right away um, compared to keeping it to yourself and then uh, start thinking of those what ifs things 
alam mo yun, yun hindi kasi talaga ako sanay unang-una hindi kasi talaga ako sanay but that is one thing that I really want to improve to myself and of course karamihan sa atin the mamayana habit okay, I'll try na if there's one thing that I needed to do I have to do it right now well it's easier said than done hindi ka nila yeah, but of course, at least, at least, uh, at least, I am reminding myself now to please do it now and do something else later. Diba? Much better. And last one, always smile. I tend to always have this uh, maldita, ma arty first impression from others. Kasi nga, hindi ko alam, for some reason, hindi ako yung. Alam mo yung minsan, minsan na ano kay, minsan na aamiza ko sa mga sa ibang tao or sa mga tao unang tingin mo palang parang ang ang gaan gaan or parang ang like niya it's because because she smiles a lot we'll try to do that maybe serious ako sa talaga kung tao or maybe because hindi kasi ako sa nai na nakikipag-usap sa iba but if you get to know me you'll know me truly so yeah yun lang so I would agree na hindi siya madale but of course uh, it's again, it's a reminder for myself. Na sana magawa ko. And of course, I will have to help myself in order for me to fulfill this. All right. So the last one we have. Oh yeah, yeah. Something that I look forward to this year. Ano lang siya tatlong bagay lang siya na nilulook forward to this year para sa sarili ko para. Okay. First is that this pandemic to finally end. And I know. Um, most of us are looking forward to this. Okay, the second thing for me is to have a good job. Um, yeah, sana makaroon ako ng uh, very, very, very good job this year. And lastly, yung hindi ko nagawa last year, which I plan to uh, to do, is to be home. I ho really hope that I will be able to get home this year. So, yeah. That's it guys. So that's all I can share for you today guys. I hope you enjoy and please comment down below if may mga um, resolutions din kayo sa taong 2021. So take care everyone. Have a great, great, great year ahead. So I will see you in the next vlog. Until the next time. One thing that I wrote in my New Year's resolutions is to speak up. I thought of starting it here. We all have this and I'm going to do this not only for myself but to inspire other people. Imperfections, insecurities and all. It, it is not going to be easy for me guys. We are living in this kind of world full of judgment. We're not here, we're not there. Bullying. It's really hard guys. One thing that I learned about myself is that to acknowledge my imperfections, my insecurities, and that to accept them. By the following vlogs, I will be showing you and sharing with you guys um, what are my imperfections and what are my insecurities. Although I'm in the process of getting through some of this, but I'm going also to share with you guys on how to get through it. Acknowledging our imperfections and our insecurities is a less pain when it that comes from other people because you know it already yourself so at the end of the day it's how you take it i know it's not going to be easy but uh, please join me guys as i am going to show you those things